All right, as you said, I was uh, interested. Uh, given the reluctance of uh, mainstream news media to publish advertisements from groups such as Speak Up for Women, Stop Co-Governance and Family First, I was, I was surprised, let's say quite surprised, to see a page, uh, an ad on page two of the Post newspaper this morning um, publicising an event at Parliament, a kind of rent-a-mob event, from an outfit called the Palestine Solidarity Network Aotearoa. I was also surprised that some of the claims in that ad um, would appear to be in clear breach of um, the ASA, uh, Advertising Standards Authority rules, and indeed I would say in clear breach of our human rights uh, legislation as well. The person who placed that ad, the chairman of the Palestinian Solidarity Network Aotearoa, is long-time New Zealand activist and renter mob leader, John Minto, and he joins us on the line now. John, how are you? I'm fine, Sean. I'm fine. I'm, there's no no rent mob about us. I think uh, you guys have got things around the wrong way there. Okay. You're certainly tell us about you're, you're the Palestine Solidarity Network of Aotearoa, John. How long's that been going? Well, it's been going for um, well, in its current form, it's been going for about five years. And, five uh, years. We are. How many members yeah, you got? We've got well, we've got a. We, we don't have membership as such. Um, we have. Well, a, hang on. Um, a you're, you're a network. How many people in your network? And how do you measure that? We've, there's about twenty centres around New Zealand where you know which will which will be organising events this week. Twenty. So there are twenty. About twenty centres. That, that's 20 like a centers. McDonald's franchise. So where do I no, find? I've no, never no, seen no, one no, in Wellington. No, 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 no. You're, you're, we 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 have a we have a national mailing list which is about maybe seven or eight thousand people. There you've are only people got, in New you've Zealand. You've only got four and, and a half are, thousand Facebook followers. Oh, is that right? Oh, well, <laughs> you know more about Facebook than I do. Okay, we're, we're doing very well. So thanks, you've got a ma- so, so your organisation, the network, is a mailing list, John. People, tur- turning out uh, thousands of people each week. This issue and it's so important. Okay. You know, who this are you the associated with? Hang on, Sean. Yeah. Hang on. First time in my life, and I've lived a long time, like you have. Um, first time in my life, I've seen genocide taking place before our eyes, and our government not calling it out. Yeah, you know, I don't know why we let Hamas do else. what they did on October the seventh without condemning it. It may have been down well, to the idiocy everyone, of Nana Mahuda. Every, but, but everybody John, condemns it. Let's just. John, I'm really interested it. in how you got to place the uh, ad. Was there any <laughs> questioning by staff about the content and the false content you made that there is a genocide? And the clear suggestion is there's a genocide going on committed by Israeli people in Gaza. Because uh, you want to shut the Israeli embassy, boycott Israel, you call it ethnic cleansing. Uh, my God, man, do you have any proof of that? And did stuff in any way? Yeah, yeah, okay, come on. Well, yeah, uh, look, you've got a lot of questions here. Let, let me okay. just answer some. First, okay, so. look, okay, we'll work for it, through it slowly for you. Did stuff raise any concerns about the content of the ad? That's that's between us and stuff, right? Oh. I, I'm I'm not going to get involved in what stuff's policy is. Uh, uh, putting up ads but all of those things we call for are reasonable responses for new zealand to make in the no in no the it's not reasonable state. for you do you know what ethnic cleansing they, and genocide is it was called i know the Holocaust. What, i know well let, let me let me tell you what's happening in the west bank right now right there are no i'm not interested in your second hand accounts of no, what no, it would no, seem no, to me no, that what's happening in oh, the west bank is the good on, guys are winning sure and in gaza the good guys are winning john Right, have you seen center. any of there the footage? 15. Have you seen any of the GoPro footage from October the seventh, John? Have you seen? The, oh, no, no, look, it wasn't. No, no, you don't. You I don't answer a question with a question, Mr. Minto. It. I haven't seen it, and I and and I also haven't seen all of the the, the thousands of videos that are out there showing the the sheer naked brutality of the Israeli regime. You want to see naked brutality, John. You board. want to see a Hamas fighter hacking a man's oh, uh, dead corpse head off with a garden hoe. Or beheading okay, someone so, so with let's, a combat let's say knife. This. You want to see so, two let's young let's boys cowering, with. having watched their father be grenaded by a Hamas fighter. You want to see Hamas yep. fighters loading bodies of dead Israelis into their specials and driving them back across the border and dropping them off in town squares so they can be crucified, their corpses can be crucified by crowds who can then play with them. 
Yeah, I think we can agree on this. That I haven't on seen a lot of Israelis there doing that sort crime. of stuff, John. Listen, listen, I there were war crimes. Israelis crime. stringing dead Palestinian bodies up on the street. Well, New Zealand and soldiers taking soldiers selfies in with them, John. I haven't New seen any of that. I'm not excusing any of it. I'm not excusing any of it at all. Then I'm saying why are, are you crimes. running an ad in a New Zealand newspaper I that accuses Israel out. of ethnic cleansing and genocide? 